Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another video and today I have a giveaway for you. So if you're new here or newer here, um, hi, my name's Katie Lumsden. Um, I review books on this channel um, and I also am a writer. I write historical fiction. My debut novel, The Secrets of Hartwood Hall, came out last year and my second novel, The Trouble with Mrs Montgomery Hurst, is coming out this summer and I'm very, very excited for it. And today I have a giveaway for you because the proof copies of The Trouble with Mrs Montgomery Hurst are in. I filmed a little unboxing clip when the books arrived so I will put that in here. So something very exciting has just arrived in the post. Um, here we have, I believe, my proof copies of The Trouble with Mrs Montgomery Hearst, which I'm very, very excited about. I'm going to open them now. Um, I haven't seen these yet. I mean, I've seen like the digital cover, but I haven't seen them in, I was about to say in person. Um, I haven't seen Montgomery Hearst in person yet, so I'm very excited to open these. I think it'll be really fun to see the book as a book. <laughs> I really, really love the cover for The Trouble with Mrs Montgomery Hearst. I think it's just really, really fun. Like, I really love the look of it and the colour of it. And like the whole style and the illustrations and stuff. I just really, really like it. And then here we have the back. I'm very proud of this shout line. A single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. But why would he choose her? I came up with the shout line and it is my best work. Whether the novel will live up to the shout line, I do not know, but I'm very, very proud of that line. Um, and yeah, look at that giant spine. Okay, let's take a look inside the proof. So here we have um, the blurb at the front, which is very fun. Um, very exciting. We have um, a contents page of epic proportions. Um, look at the contents page. Um, and we have, a map. Oh, the map. The map looks so beautiful. Seeing the map inside the book is very, very exciting. <gasps> Look at it. Um, and then we have our dramatic sonai of all the many, many characters that are in the book. Um, and yeah, volume one. Chapter one. Oh, it's very, very exciting. I'm just, I'm just so, so excited about this novel. Um, oh yes, and we'll also quickly look at the back because we have my my photograph in the back which is always fun um and yeah i'm just so so excited about the trouble with mrs montgomery Hearst. i think it looks really really beautiful um in its yeah proof copy we've got little july 2024 on the spine um and yeah i'm just very very excited about this book it's very nice to have proof copies in it's exciting to think it'll be going out into the world soon and some people will read it and stuff like that so yeah I'm very, very delighted that it's here. So the bound proofs of The Travel with Mrs Montgomery Hearst are in and they look very beautiful. It's very nice to see like the cover as it will actually look. Um, I mean, it won't have this line, I think, and my name will be on the front cover rather than just on the spine. Um, but yes, look at this nice, large, chunky book. This is going to be heavy in hardback, but you know, I hope you won't mind that. It's got a lot of characters, so it kind of needs to have a lot of pages. I will link down below um, some other videos that I have made talking about the trouble with Mrs Montgomery Hearst. But basically, this novel is set in the very early Victorian period in 1841, and it follows what happens when one of the eligible bachelors of the neighbourhood gets married to somebody that nobody expects him to marry and it follows a small community it's gossip it's families it's romantic relationships in the kind of fallout of this marriage it is also set in the small fictional county of wickenshire um, and yes there is a map of wickenshire um look how beautiful it looks in all its glory like on the page isn't it isn't it gorgeous i'm so excited that this book has a map i just i just can't quite get over the fact that i made this place with my words and look look at it isn't it that beautiful anyway i'm very excited about that but anyway down to what this video is actually about i have two proof copies to give away i'm afraid you do have to be resident in the uk to enter this giveaway you also need to be over 18 years old and you need to be happy for me to share your address with the publishers if you want to enter the giveaway then you need to email me at katie.booksandthings at gmail.com i'll leave details down in the description um, and i will select the winners at random and two of you will get a copy of the 
the proof of a trouble with Mrs. Montgomery Hearst to read ahead of time. This book is coming out in July and I'm just very, very excited for it. It's really nice to have some proof copies. Um, I was doing some proof drops a couple of weeks ago, um, like going around different bookshops and giving proofs to booksellers, which is really fun. Um, and I'm very excited that a few authors have already started reading the book and giving quotes, which has been really, really nice. I love this book so much and I'm so like emotionally invested in this book. I'm so much more emotionally invested in this book than in my debut novel. Um, so I'm slightly like terrified about it being out in the world, but I'm also very, very excited. The Trouble with Mrs. Montgomery Hearst is also now available on NetGalley, so I'll leave a link down below in the description and you can go along and request it from NetGalley if you want. And then I thought to myself, because I was doing a giveaway of a couple of proof copies of The Trouble with Mrs. Montgomery Hearst, I might as well do some other giveaways at the same time. So I also have two UK paperback copies of The Secrets of Heartwood Hall and two US paperback copies of The Secrets of Heartwood Hall to give away. Um, and I will sign all of these copies uh, before I send them out. So if you want to win a signed paperback, copy of The Secrets of Heartwood Hall, then you can also enter the giveaway. The giveaway for the UK editions is only available to people who are resident in the UK, and the giveaway for the US editions is only available to people who are resident in the US. Sorry about that. Again, you need to be over 18 years old to enter the giveaway, um, and you need to be happy to share with me your postal address. But if you do want to enter the US giveaway, then you do need to be happy for me to share your address with my publishers, um, because the book will come from them. And again, you can enter this giveaway by emailing me at katie.book and things at gmail.com make sure you specify which giveaway you're entering um, and I'll select some random winners basically I just have more author copies of the secrets of Heartwood Hall than I know what to do with so I thought it might be nice to do a giveaway of some signed copies and then finally um, I do also have a few book plates left over from the last time I did a giveaway um, so these book plates are basically stickers um, that I sign my name on and you, you know, peel it off and stick it in the front of your edition. They're branded with the UK publisher, but you could stick it in the front of US edition too. So I have five signed book plates to give away um, and this giveaway is open internationally. So you can enter this giveaway wherever you are in the world um, and I will just send you a book plate in the post. Again, you need to be over 18 years old and you need to be happy to share with me your address. And if you want to enter the giveaway, please email katie.booksandthings at gmail.com. Obviously, I have four different giveaways in this video so if you email me to enter the giveaway please do tell me which giveaway you want to enter or indeed if you want to enter multiple giveaways please do let me know as well um, and I will yeah randomly select some winners. I think I'll leave this giveaway open for two weeks before I select the winners so I'll put the um deadline up on the screen now and down in the description. Please do enter if you want to and if you win I'll let you know and send you some bookish things. While I'm here and talking about writing I'm trying to think if there's anything else I have to tell you. I don't think there is. Um, I know a few other people were asking if I had a US publisher for The Trouble with Mrs Montgomery Hearst yet. I don't. I will let you know as soon as I know anything about that. In the meantime if you do want to pre-order The Trouble with Mrs Montgomery Hearst and if you want to read it in July your best bet is probably to order from Blackwell's um, which is a UK bookshop that ship internationally and the prices on their website include shipping so you're not going to be charged a lot extra when you come to check out. I'll leave more links down below if anyone is interested in pre-ordering The Trouble with Mrs Montgomery Hearst or just wants to know more but I am feeling very very excited about it and July is kind of coming up fast I guess. Like it feels kind of strange that it's not that long now until The Trouble with Mrs Montgomery Hearst is being published considering I have been working on it for like such a long time. It's been like eight years on and off. I've been working on this book. Every time I say The Trouble with Mrs. Montgomery Hearst, it does feel like a mouthful of a title, um, which I think is kind of fun. But in my head, I call this book Monty. This is Monty. This book has always been Monty. This book has been Monty for a very long time. Um, and so every time I say The Trouble with Mrs. Montgomery Hearst, I just want to call this book Monty. Anyway, anyway, that is all for now. Do let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll be back very soon with another bookish video. Thank you.